Hello guys, welcome back to Mornings with Granny. Hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you had a good weekend. It's a beautiful day here. It is hot. I just cut my air conditioner on. We have been very busy for the last couple of weeks. My aunt come by the other day, the one that makes the quilts. Um, they had five more deaths in their little circle in about, I think she said four days from Saturday to Wednesday, that's what, five days. The day after I made the last video, as soon as I finished that video, mom called crying. Her friend had died, she had a stroke. And then the other day, my sister-in-law lost somebody close to her family. So that was seven more deaths. But anyway, today I am putting in a London broil in my crock pot. I'm gonna let it cook overnight, so I thought I'd bring you along with me. Beef is getting high. I found this on sale at um, Foodland. It's um, it was seven dollars and twenty-two cent. Regular price was twelve dollars and forty cents. They had it on sale for three forty-nine a pound. But it's a London broil, so I'm gonna wash up my hands and get it into my crock pot. Get a couple of paper towels here. So how do you guys like the uh, time change? Hold on a minute, my other phone keeps going off. I've got this old phone and I was trying to film with it, but it wouldn't let me, it's hanging up for some reason. So let me get it cut off here. So to quit making noise. Yeah, it's usually the one that I uh, record with, but I don't know what's wrong with it, but it is old. Like me, it's slowing down. All right, get the knife. Usually when I cook a roast like this in the crock pot, I'll put some potatoes, carrots, and onions in. I don't have any potatoes, so I'm just going to wait till I go to the grocery store, go ahead and cook this tonight, and then I'll get some potatoes and maybe roast some potatoes, onions, and carrots to go with it. Now, I like to rinse the meat off before I put it in there, so... And stick that in there and get my hands washed. I hadn't been cooking much lately. Let me see if I can get you down a little bit lower. I haven't been cooking much lately because my Wednesday night dinners with this virus going on kind of got canceled. Let's see. My daughter said she was going to come eat Wednesday. Is that better? Let's see. Well, a little bit better. There you go. So I thought I'd go ahead and cook this. I'm going to put half of it in the freezer, and then we're going to eat part of it for Wednesday. Now, I have... This is savory beef stock. They had it marked down. It's uh, 32 ounces. So I'm going to pour this on there. If I can get it open. And let me get my little thing. It's funny because when I go to mom's I have to open stuff for her and then when my daughter comes over here she opens stuff for me. Well that's not going to open. Let's try something else. Use the old knife trick. When you get older, your hands just don't want to work right. Let's see if we can get it open now. My car has been in the shop. I got up, let's see, last Friday, and I was going to go do something for Mom. It was Friday a week ago. And my car would not run. It kept cutting off. So I had to have a tow truck to come get it. And uh, 
It's been in the shop. I don't get it back till tomorrow. They said they thought it was the computer, but they reset it. So I've got my mom's car right now. Okay. I'm going to add one packet of onion soup mix. You can put whatever you want to in here. This is just what we like. And I have one can of mushrooms. This is mm, four ounces. I'd rather have the fresh mushrooms, but I don't have any. I was on the Walmart site the other day looking for canning lids because I don't know about you guys, but I can't find them. And I'm still trying to dry can some stuff for my daughter. And I found three packs on Walmart's site and I added them and the time I got back to my cart, they had already sold out. All right, put those in there. I'm gonna give this a little stir. Now, I usually don't add any salt because of the onion soup mix. I wait and taste it. I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper. Put the lid on it. I'm gonna put it on low and let it cook till I get up in the morning, which could be anywhere from five to eight o'clock. And then I'll probably thicken the gravy with a little bit of a cornstarch slurry. Let me get you back before I can talk to you. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to take half of it out, put it in the freezer, and then I'll uh, thicken the rest. I think I'm going to wash this jar and save it because it's a good size. And we'll either have some roasted carrots, potatoes, and onions, or we might just have rice and beef and gravy and some honeyed carrots. I don't know. Just depends on what I'm in the mood for. As you can see, I still got jars. I keep washing up jars. I've got, let's see, five... 10, 15, about 18 more pounds of stuff I need to dry can. So, this thing keeps flipping down. There you go. So, I had to wash up some more jars. I don't think I've got enough washed. I think I need maybe about 8 or 10 more. I found that 5 pounds of flour, I put it in pint, jar, uh, pint jars. So, putting it in pint jars... It takes almost eight pints. Still got you crooked. I'm just having trouble tonight getting y'all situated. Oh, there you go. But anyway, how many of you guys are gonna have a garden this year? I need to get out there and clean in my clean out my small area. Um I don't know that I'll plant that much, but I will try to plant a little bit. It's getting time to do it, that's for sure. They're getting the fields plowed around here. And you can smell the uh, manure that they put down. Not a pleasant smell at all. Mom and I were riding through the country when we went to the next town over the other day. She wanted to go to the thrift store, so I took her. And in fact, I bought this Stanley Thermos. It was $3 and it's good for me to take out in the yard, keep my water cold. She bought a bag of clothes. They had them $5 a bag, and I told her, I said, if you will gather up what you want, I'll put them in the bag. So I wound up getting four pairs of jeans and four shirts in a Walmart bag. So she was happy because if we'd bought them separate, they would have been $24. But by getting them in the bag, it was only $5. So she took them home, washed them up. She was happy about it. But anyway, that's about all that's going on around here. Not much. I uh, just want to touch base with you and let you know I hadn't forgot about you. I'm still here. Just been very, very busy. I did work in the yard, let's see, one, two, three, four days. 
My son-in-law and daughter came over yesterday and finally got my new doorknob on the front because they had bought me one for Christmas because it was hanging up. When I tried to put the key in, it didn't want to unlock. And so they bought me one for Christmas and they finally got over yesterday and put it on. So I was happy about that. But uh, that's, that's basically about it. There's nothing exciting. Like I said, I haven't been really cooking that much. I've been dry canning and working in the yard, having company. That's it. So I hope you guys are doing okay. And try this London broil like this. I think you'll like it. Or just a regular beef roast. I have done beef tips like this. My daughter does deer tips like this. I'm not a fan of deer. I will eat it if I have to, but I'm not a big fan of it. But try it and see how you like it. Like I said, this is on low. It's going to stay on all night. And the house will be smelling good tomorrow and Gizmo will be at my feet because he's going to be begging. Y'all have a good night. I hope you had a good weekend. Give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.